Hi everyone, welcome to Chasing Solana, where we discuss spirituality and lifestyle. I'm Michelle, and today we're talking all about Saturn returns. In this video, we're going to talk about what a Saturn return is, what Saturn represents, and what happens during a Saturn return. I'll also share with you my life-changing experience that I had going through my own Saturn return. Let's just get right into it. So what is a Saturn return? A Saturn return is when Saturn returns to the sign that it was in at the time of your birth. So whatever sign Saturn was in when you were born and it goes back to that sign, that is your Saturn return. It usually spends about two and a half years in each sign. So it takes about 28 to 30 years for somebody to experience their Saturn return. We go through about three Saturn returns in our lifetime. The first one happens between 28 and 30 years old. The second one happens between 58 and 60 years old. And if you're lucky, the third one will happen between 88 and 90 years old. What's important is depending on the degree that Saturn is in, in your natal chart will depend on when your Saturn return starts or when you'll feel the effects of your Saturn return. For example, if Saturn is in one degree at your chart, once Saturn hits that sign that it's in in your chart, that's when you'll start to feel the effects and experience all the changes. For me, Saturn is 23 degrees in my chart. So Saturn entered the sign that it was in at the time that I was born at the beginning of 2020. I didn't start to feel the effects of my Saturn return until towards the end of 2020, like mid to end 2020 is when I really started noticing changes in my life. Since then, it's just continued to get even more intense, but it's almost over and I can feel everything kind of settling down now. Right now, Saturn is currently in Aquarius and Western astrology and in Capricorn and Vedic astrology. For my natal chart, I go by Vedic astrology because it's way more accurate for me than Western astrology, but just go by whichever one resonates with you more. Anyway, the house that Saturn is in will tell us which area of life that will fulfill our karmic debt, our duties, and our responsibilities. The lessons that we learn during the Saturn return will be around the themes of whichever house your Saturn falls in. So for example, my Saturn is in my first house and the first house is really all about the self. So during my Saturn return, the theme of going inwards and asking myself who I am and just really focusing on me has been very, very prevalent in my life. My appearance has also changed. I cut my hair, I lost a ton of weight. I began the process of individuation and learned to define who I am, even though I'm still working on that definition. And you know, it's probably always just going to change because we're continuously growing and evolving throughout life anyway. But I definitely have a better idea of who I am now than versus when my Saturn return first started. I keep moving by the way, because I'm trying to get this good lighting here and the shade keeps blocking that so you'll notice some shifts whatever now with my Saturn return I completely went inside introspected and I dismantled all of my beliefs everything about myself that I thought was true everything about the world about other people completely shifted and turned and transitioned into something new my perspective on life changed I realized that I am the most important person in my life I started to put myself first I stopped being a people pleaser. All of these things happened for me. Now, if your Saturn was in say your 10th house, then themes around your career, your status, your legacy, things of that nature will be prevalent in your lifetime. So just keep in mind that depending whichever house your Saturn falls in, you'll notice um, changes around those things. But regardless, everything in your life will shift. So just be mindful of that. Now that we talked about what a Saturn return is, let's talk a little bit about what Saturn represents. Saturn is the Lord of Karma and the Keeper of Time. Saturn is a teacher that gives us lessons and challenges and forces us to grow and to learn and to transition into something bigger and better. Saturn represents structure, limitations, hard work, and responsibility. And Saturn wants us to do what we're supposed to do, to grow into who we're supposed to be and to mature. Saturn is all about maturing and becoming an adult. 
Saturn also represents patience, dedication, and determination. And Saturn really likes when we are disciplined, routine, stable, and have things in order. Saturn will reward you for minimalism, sobriety, focus, responsibility, service, good karma, good action, good deeds, commitment, determination, and having a good work ethic. Now let's talk a little bit more about what happens during a Saturn return. As I've already said, everything in your life shakes up. Everything becomes undone and dismantled and you're forced to go inward and take a deep look in the mirror and ask yourself, who am I? It brings extreme changes and transformations in all areas of your life. You'll notice that relationships end, you might move, you might go through a spiritual awakening, which happened to me. Um, anything is possible. Just know that things will change in a very major way. So just be ready. Saturn returns will force you to rebuild your foundation and force you to start from the ground up so that you can build a structure that's more lasting for the next 30 years that are to come. It can be very confusing just because you might not want to let go of these things that Saturn's going to ask you to let go of. Like for example, relationships, friendships, you may not think that you need to let go of these things, but Saturn is telling you that you need to let go of them. So it can be kind of confusing and there might be kind of like a push and pull that happens during this time. In the end, you'll realize that everything that happened happened in the way that it was meant to. It happened because you needed to grow into this new person. You needed to evolve. Saturn also demands that we take responsibility for ourselves. We can often rely on other people so much, our parents, our friends, but during your Saturn return, you're forced to become an individual. Like I said, you become an adult, you become a grown up. You'll also be forced to stop blaming other people for things that happen in your life. Saturn will basically give you back the remote control and tell you here take control what are you going to do now you'll also have to face things from your past uh, childhood trauma that stuff might come up any karmic lessons that need to be learned may come up you'll start to repay your karmic debt there's so much that is going to happen in your life during your Saturn return you'll also become more structured and you might experience limitations in different ways if you thought that your life was headed in one direction, think again, surprise, surprise, because it's not going where you expect it to be. If you're in your 20s right now and you haven't gone through your Saturn return, just know that whatever direction you're headed in may be completely different than after your Saturn return. During your Saturn return, you'll learn who you are and what you came to this earth school to do. Whatever's in your life that doesn't serve your highest good will become undone. It will go up in flames and be completely removed from your life. You'll start to view the world differently and your purpose or your dharma will be revealed to you. You'll learn who you are and what you came to this earth school to do. Saturn basically encourages you to focus on what you want and to get clear on your goals. You'll also eventually become more ambitious once you realize what it is that you want or what you came here to do. Saturn wants to know how you will move forward and how you will level up. So now that we've talked about what happens during a Saturn return and what Saturn represents, let me tell you what happened during my Saturn return. And get ready because it's pretty intense. So my Saturn return started when I was about 28 and a half years old, but I did not feel the effects until a year later. At that time, I had just graduated from grad school. I took my first nurse practitioner job and I was just really unsatisfied. I got burnt out so quickly and I lasted at that job for four months. I questioned, I was like, did I just make a huge mistake? Like, did I just spend all this time in school for no reason because I was just so unhappy. I enrolled in a health coach training program because I wanted to do things from a more holistic approach. At that point, that program, it taught me a lot about gut imbalance, cortisol imbalances. You know, um, I learned so much about gut health. I learned the proper way to grocery shop. I learned so many things in that program and I started to heal all of these health issues that I had been dealing with for some time. Then I also became really serious about my yoga practice. 
I started yoga in 2018, but I was like sketchy with it. But after some time, I got really serious about it. Then at the end of 2020, I had this really negative experience where I realized that people who I thought were my friends weren't. They had been gaslighting me. They were very toxic and I had to cut them off. Then I had my first semi-spiritual awakening at that time. That's when I first got into crystals and began using crystals and learning about them and using them. So I'd say that's like the start of my spiritual journey, the end of 2020 during my Saturn return. My relationship at that time also became really rocky and I had decided that I wanted to end it and I didn't want to be in it, but I didn't. So let's fast forward to July of 2021 when I got my first Moldavite and you guys know uh, what happened when I got my Moldavite. I got my first Moldavite and everything really became undone after that. It was like one thing started happening after another and it happened so fast. Moldavite really accelerated my spiritual awakening. I made a video about that. I'll leave it up in the description somewhere. Um, but yeah, so at that time, I started to learn all about covert narcissists and energy vampires. I did not know about this before, and this came to me during my Saturn return. I also moved. I ended many other friendships, like my longest friendship with the person that I had known since I was five years old. There's a plane. I'm going to wait five hours later okay sorry about that so the longest relationship that i had with a person or the longest friendship that i had with the person that i'd known since i was five years old who i considered my best friend that relationship ended because i realized that was toxic and there were a lot of traits there that wasn't healthy and um i realized that so many of my relationships were so draining physically mentally emotionally a few months after that you guys I started to experience workplace bullying and harassment in my place of work and I was actually fired for the first time for speaking up about the things that were happening and then I was wrongfully accused of doing something that I didn't do and then I was blackmailed for it. All of this happened during my Saturn return. It's interesting because I really liked that job. I wanted to stay at that job. but. Basically, what I learned now is that I wasn't meant to be there. I was meant for bigger and better things. So after I left that job, that's when I, I started my YouTube channel. Going through that experience forced me to start my YouTube channel, forced me to do something that I really enjoy doing. I was able to get back into learning myself and learning what I wanted to do. I also restarted therapy at this time again with... Um, a focus on trauma therapy like the therapy I had before it wasn't really focused on healing my trauma then I started EMDR therapy which is eye movement desensitization and reprocessing therapy which has been a huge factor in my growth and my improvement and healing a lot of the trauma that I've gone through in my childhood going back to the job thing like being fired from that job I I did not work for five months. Saturn basically forced me to change my lifestyle, change my habits, change my spending habits, and I had to learn how to survive off of my savings. I've been living off of savings for about five months because I wasn't in the mental space to start working again. I that experience had been so traumatic because it happened it was like a whirlwind it forced or it created a dark night of the soul for me because I went through a really deep depression because not only did I lose my job but my relationship basically blew up in my face and again like I said I learned all about energy vampires and realized that the people that I had been surrounded with were toxic energy vampires so Saturn forced me to go within myself to become a hermit. I literally shut out the entire world, deleted all of my social media, basically went off grid so that I could learn about myself and learn about what it is that I like to do. And honestly, I didn't learn about my Saturn return until the beginning of this year when all that stuff really started to blow up 
and I could not wait until I turned 30. I was literally counting down the days and I turned 30 recently in July of this year. I also learned that I'm autistic, like I didn't know that and that had given me so much information about myself and it explained a lot of things that I've went through throughout my life and it made me understand my differences with social socialization and my need for structure and routine. And just to let you guys know, um, I am a Capricorn rising, so Saturn has a huge influence in my life. So just wanted to point that out. Going through a Saturn return, you're going to gain wisdom and you're going to gain the ability to stand in your truth. These are the results of Saturn return. You'll understand who you are and you'll finally become an adult. It's strange that in the United States, we're considered adults at 18 years old. When I was 18, I did not feel like an adult. I still felt like a child. In fact, I did not start to feel like an adult until the beginning of this year when I was 29. You know what I mean? So um, also the brain doesn't start, the brain isn't fully developed until we're about 25 years old to towards our um, late 20s, which makes sense, right? After your Saturn return, you'll begin to feel a lot more wise, a lot more mature. And if you do what you're supposed to, you'll, you'll be rewarded. Saturn is going to reward you. Things will begin falling into place. They will align how they should. Everything that got pushed out, that got dismantled, created space for something new, something better that's coming into your life, right? Like you figured out your dharma, you figured out your purpose, you figured out what's meant for you. You'll also become more patient. You'll be able to live off of a lot less things than you were before. Instead of being so fast paced, you'll be able to take things as they come, right? One thing at a time. It's Things aren't going to seem so imminent all the time. At least for me, before my Saturn return, it seemed like everything has to be done now, 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 now. But now, as I'm at the end of my Saturn return, I'm realizing that it's okay to slow down. It's okay to take your time. It's okay to be patient. You'll also reflect on how far you've come and you'll be so proud of the growth that you experience from going through your Saturn return. Remember, it's all about lessons. We're learning, we're growing, we become more wise. It's like you've unlocked a new level towards a video game and you can't go back to the level that you were at before. You've got these new powers, these new abilities, just by surviving your Saturn return. You'll also become less fearful and more confident. You'll step into your power. You'll be able to set boundaries. You'll become more assertive if you aren't already. That's something that I definitely struggled with before my Saturn return. Like I said, I was a people pleaser. I was basically like a doormat for people to use and abuse me. But after my Saturn returned, I have been, or since going through my Saturn return, I'm more assertive. I have boundaries. I speak up for myself. Um, what else? I also want to say that I did learn a lot about complex PTSD during my Saturn return. And if you don't know what that is, look it up. From what I know, you can experience complex PTSD after continuous, continuous experiences of trauma, multiple traumatic events, one after the other. I can talk about that more in another video if you guys want me to. Anyway, Saturn basically forces you to become a boss. It forces you to boss up and it just wants results. It wants you to do the things that you have to to get to reaching your purpose and fulfilling your dharma. Saturn wants you to be successful. That's why it's teaching you all of these lessons. It's all about action. It wants you to be your true self and to learn patience and moderation. Saturn really wants what's best for us even though it may not seem like it like while we're going through all of these difficulties and these challenges it might seem so dark and you might be so confused like what is the point of all this why is all of this happening but saturn really just wants us to learn and to grow so i say all of that to say don't be afraid of your saturn return change is inevitable you guys everything happens for a reason everything happens exactly as it should and I know that it can be very rough, but it will get better. Just make sure that you learn the lessons that Saturn's trying to teach you and everything will be okay. Everything gets better with time, with maturity. It's just like fine wine, right? They age wine for so long because as it 
continues to sit there and mature, it just gets better. People pay a lot more money for wine that's old and aged than they do for like newer wines, right? Just because with, with time comes experience and wisdom and growth and it's just all around better. If you're going through your Saturn return, hang in there. It gets better, I promise. Just keep pushing through, chugging along, don't give up trying to get this sun here <laughs> but yeah if you found this video helpful go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you won't ever miss a video thank you so much for watching and until the next sunrise or sunset namaste